It is now my pleasure to introduce the speaker for our first commencement. He was born in the United States in 1989. Our speaker, Freddie Figures, was abandoned by his biological parents, but was brought up with love and kindness by two older adoptive parents who kindled his enthusiasm for fixing things and inspired his work in smart health. He now runs the first black-owned telecommunications company in the United States. When Freddie was nine, his father bought him an old computer to play around with. He had previously enjoyed tinkering with his father's collections of radios and alarm clocks. And when he opened the computer, he saw which components were broken. He realized that he could fix it with components from one of his dad's old radios, and soon his computer was working again. At age 12, he attended an after-school club and began fixing the school's old computers. His skill impressed the club's leader, who was the local mayor, and soon Freddie was being paid to repair computers for the mayor's office in the city of Quincy, Florida. A few years later, Quincy needed, the city of Quincy needed a new system to ensure that everyone's water pressure was correct. A company offered to create software for $600,000 to monitor the water pressure gauges. Freddie, now 15, and still working with the mayor, offered to create a low-cost program, and this saved the city thousands of dollars. He soon offered to other contracts and used the money to set up his own computing business. He then heard about an insurance company in another city that had lost all of its customer records during a tornado. That gave him the idea to set up an easy retrieval cloud computing service which could save data in, di could, uh, save data in different places. Then, when his aged father developed dementia and would wander off, ingenious Freddy rigged his dad's shoes with a GPS detector and a two-way communication connected to his computer, which allowed him to talk to his dad through the shoes. If he, in any time he went missing. Freddie later sold his shoe tracker for over two million US dollars. <laughs> Growing up in a rural area, he knew that mobile phone coverage and access to the internet was not as good as in larger city, cities, so he decided to set up his own telecommunications company. After several applications to the Federal Communications Commission, at age 21, Freddie became the youngest and the first black person in the United States to own a telecommunication company that created affordable smartphones with multi-user profiles. <laughs> Additionally, the death of his granduncle from a diabetic coma inspired him to create a network blood glucose meter that can link wirelessly to any mobile phone, providing blood glucose measurements to healthcare teams and family members. Finally, he has created a hidden figures, he calls it, which is a scholarship to encourage young people in the United States to engage in tech careers. Ladies and gentlemen, please, I invite you to join me in welcoming our speaker for this first commencement, Mr. Freddie Figures. Thank you. 